Hello everyone, I'm John Pillman, president of Velux Greenwood here in the United States. As we all know, Velux is a company that's always been very concerned about the environment. We have taken every action possible to be an environmentally sustainable company and to reduce the impact that we have, a negative impact, in the communities in which we operate our businesses. I'm here today to talk to you about the latest initiative that Velux Greenwood is about to implement, which will take us a significant step forward in our efforts to reduce our impact on the environment. Welcome to the Velux Solar Farm. What you're about to see is a two and a half month long construction project to build a solar farm on property that was already owned by Velux Greenwood. The farm covers six acres or 2.4 hectares and consists of 4,158 solar panels. We expect these panels to last between 25 and 30 years of good serviceable life. The energy is generated in a direct current form and then goes through inverters which converts that power to usable AC energy. The cost of the system was $2,069,000 US dollars. However, as an effort to boost use of solar power in the United States and also to allow our utility companies to close more dangerous coal fire plants, we received a rebate of over $900,000 from our local utility company and a federal tax credit of over $600,000. When the rebate and tax credit are netted out against the total cost of the system, the cost of Velux ended up to be $438,000. The farm will produce enough electricity for us to power four of our campus buildings for a year. Our savings will be $130,000 in cost per year and that will give us a simple payback of 3.4 years for our investment. The best part of the solar farm is that it will save us 1,450 tons of CO2 generation that would come from coal fire production. By reducing this amount, that's the equivalent of taking 251 cars per year off the road. We have a company goal, as we all know, to reduce by 50% our carbon footprint when compared to 2007. This investment will allow us to reach that goal in 2017.